bit. Orb it. Orb it. Yeah. YouTube. Today Chase is going to be learning how to do the orbit trick. So for the orbit trick there are two key elements. The first is that the dog can spin and the second is that they can move backwards. Um, so I'm going to be focusing on those two key steps today um, and then eventually going to be combining those and getting Chase to spin backwards around my body as I'm stood stationary. So let's see how this goes. You ready? <laughs> Good boy. Okay, so step one is learning to spin. And for this, I'm using Chase's dry kibble food, or any kind of treats will do, and also a clicker. Chase obviously already knows the spin command, but for those of you that don't, this is how I would teach it. So we want to start by taking a piece, a small piece of food. Uh, <laughs> let's try that again. Waiting. And we just want to use it as a lure. So as you can see, he's already very engaged and sniffing. So I'm going to use that and just let him follow it round. And then once he's done a full 360 degrees, I'll mark and reward. And then you want to start introducing a cue once you've really um, got the dog spinning around 360 degrees with ease. So I'm going to go spin. Good. Spin. And then eventually, once they're very familiar with the cue and with the motion itself, you can start to introduce a hand signal. So I just use a single finger with the direction that I want him to spin or turn. So we're going to try this now. Spin. Good. It's best to actually start to lure them forwards and then backwards, just so they get in that motion. And we're just looking for any movement backwards to be a click and a reward. Okay, wait here. Stand. Wait in, forward, back, yes, so that's really nice, and stand, yes, back, yes, back, good. Okay, today we're going to be continuing to work on Chase's moving backwards, so both in between my legs to get him used to being in a confined kind of near me space while moving backwards. Um, and then also next to me on either side, making sure you can do on both sides and eventually, hopefully, uh, luring him around my legs. So we're still using treats to lure at this point, so I probably don't need the clicker, um, not until I can move away from luring him. So let's see how it goes. You ready? Middle. Wait him. Back. Good. Wait him. Back. Good boy. So to begin with, I'm actually just going to turn around with, with him to do that 360 the whole way without asking him to swap hands. Just to get him used to turning in that kind of a motion. Round, back, back, back. And you can see when he gets to about this point, his butt's sticking out way over there. So when I swap the hands, I really have to turn my wrist just to get him to curve. And it, as his head turns to take the treats, his, his butt is naturally turning in that. I'm going to take him as far as I can with this hand. And then I'm going to take this hand and bring him back the other way. Back, back, back. Yes! That was one treat to reward just at the end there. So since then, we've been repeating that same process over and over across a couple of sessions. Just nice and short training sessions over the last few days. Um, and he's been coming on really nicely, so just repeating that 360 degree orbit um, using a law. So today's task is to try and remove the law from the trick altogether. So that is the task for today. Are you up for it? Good boy. Let's go. Waiting, waiting. Okay, so we're going to start by repeating the previous step. So we're going to put Chase into the heel position, and then we're going to back up, back up. Back up. I'm going to pick him up and bring him all 360 and reward here. So that's what we've been practicing. You can do that very comfortably now. Take you at your dog's pace. Don't rush that step. It's really important just to make sure he's really clear on the movement that he needs to do. And next, we're just going to try and 
start to phase out how much I'm lowering him. So I'm just gonna reward at the end again and maybe lift my hand slightly higher so it's not quite pushing on the end of his nose this time. So I've still got the treat in my hand. So I'm gonna go back, back, back. Good boy. Back up and just pick him up here. There we go. Good boy. And the final step, I'm gonna try and just Give him the signal and then see if he gets back to me at the end. So I'm just going to hold the treats where I'm going to reward him and not actually follow him around with my hand. So let's see how this one goes. I'm going to introduce Orbit. So we're going to go Orbit. Yeah. And he's familiar now that when I lift my hand in a fist position, because that's what's been following him with the law, he's now familiar that as long as I kind of flick my wrist in a, in a fist position, that's telling me he needs to go around the body. So let's try that again. Orbit. Oh, stand. Oh, it. Good boy. Okay, and this is the final trick. Oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, it. Good boy. Oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, it. Yeah. Good boy. So that is it for this video. We're going to leave it there and just keep repeating it, cleaning it up, and trying it in new places. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more tricks.